Dear Mr. Yawa Shah, Dear Mr. Javier Tasso, Distinguished guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I convey my sincere greetings from Beijing and from Agriculture Bank of China. My appreciation goes to SWIFT for inviting me to this year's Cybos. Recharging global finance is a very important theme. As empowering finance with digital technologies to better serve the economy becomes a focus of global financial industry. Right now, COVID-19 is still ranging in the world. It's particularly important for financial institutions to play a greater role in supporting the recovery of the world economy through the use of new technologies, new methods, and new models. Today, I would like to focus on practices of the Chinese banking industry in empowering rural finance with digital technologies. Rural finance and financial inclusion has long been global concerns. Rural communities could benefit greatly from financial services, yet their financial needs are not fully satisfied. Ensuring their financial inclusion could enable a well-distributed, robust, and sustainable economic growth and unlock the considerable economic potential of rural areas. The emergency of digital technologies has enabled a new development model for financial inclusion by providing new solutions to improve the quality and efficiency of financial services. Rural development has always been a focus of China's national strategies. In recent years, China has been implementing the digital strategy to increase the use of IT and internet in the countryside to support the financial needs of citizens and boost their incomes and spending power. And the leadership of the Communist Party, the Chinese financial industry, has also been making great efforts to innovate the financial services to eliminate the urban-rural gap I would like to share four aspects with you. Firstly, we have been increasing the coverage of financial services through digital banking channels. Residents in the Chinese countryside are scattered in vast areas. It is as difficult for financial institutions to achieve full coverage with its physical networks. It seems our financial services are always one last mile away from the farthest clients. The development of a digital inf infrastructure in China has created favorable conditions to address these issues. As for now, more than 98% of China's villages are connected to the optical fiber and a 4G network. And more than 290 million citizens in the countryside are connected to the internet. The digital divide between the urban and the rural areas has narrowed significantly. Building on this positive trend, the Chinese banking industry has been using fintech to create new channels to cover more clients so that they can enjoy convenient financial services anytime and anywhere. Our bank, ABC, is committed to serve the agricultural sector. We have made tremendous efforts to form a multi-channel system, including physical network, 
mobile banking, internet banking, and so on. By far, we have set up more than 22,000 physical outlets, the most extensive physical network covering the most remote areas in China. To better serve rural residents, we launched the rural version mobile app that covers 170 million clients in counties and assured that every township has ATMs and every village has post machines. Moving forward, we will apply more digital technologies to upgrade channels, develop internet-based mobile financial services that fit into the rural context, and enhance multi-channel synergy. We will not only make our financial services more accessible, but also more user-friendly. Secondly, we have been addressing financing difficulty through diversified products. For a long time, information asymmetry and collateral shortage are obstacles for financing rural regions. To address these issues, the Chinese banking industry employed new technologies such as big data and the Internet of Things to gather and integrate information and create a new data-driven business model to meet the financial and non-financial needs of farmers and enterprises. Our bank launched online credit products for farmers and built a credit evaluation model by connecting industrial database and gathering farmer information village by village. These products enable remote contract signing and online credit repayment by using its mobile credit application technology. This new model benefits over 3.45 million clients in the countryside. As agriculture becomes more industrialized, our bank introduced industrial chain financing products through information exchange with e-commerce platforms, trading markets, and leading agricultural businesses, providing automatic and convenient online financing services. Next, we will fully digitize microcredit products for farmers. We will further embed new technologies into the entire process of agricultural production, trading, processing, logistics, and warehousing to improve the adaptability of financial services along the industrial chain. Thirdly, we have been optimizing open banking services through digital scenarios. With the digital advancement in villages, the rural economic and social life has become more digitized, and open banking services has also continued to penetrate into the countryside. The Chinese banking industry has stepped up cooperation with the various market entities, such as non-bank financial institutions, e-commerce companies, and agricultural enterprises, building diverse agri-related digital scenarios to deepen the integration of financial services with the economic and the social life in the countryside. Our bank is moving faster to build digital scenarios. For example, we introduced tailor-made smart financial scenarios in agricultural product markets, allowing SMEs to conduct payments and settlements, credit application, fund collection, 
and inventory management in real time. We also introduced over 9,800 county-level scenarios in smart hospital, smart campus, and smart business district that cater to all the aspects of real life. And the guidance of regulators and the efforts of commercial banks, digital scenarios could be more diverse and in-depth in the future. Fourthly, we have been ensuring business sustainability by strengthening risk management. From practical experiences, due to the high inherent risk of agricultural production and the underdeveloped credit system, the overall risk of rural finance are relatively high, posing greater challenges to business sustainability. As IT application in the countryside increases, financial institutions are better equipped with new technologies and new methods to prevent and control agri-related financial risks. The Chinese banking industry is accelerating the development to design new intelligent risk control systems on farmers and various agri-related entities. Such systems attribute more importance on model-based decision-making than solely on expert experience, and more weight on automatic monitoring than manual identification. Our bank has established a digital risk control center and a central platform for monitoring credit risk. As a result, we realize risk prediction, control, and management during the full life cycle of credit businesses. In response to the new realities in the countryside, we are also actively developing innovative risk control techniques to improve the effectiveness of risk management. For example, we use blockchain to record and verify the authenticity and the uniqueness of agricultural information. We use satellite remote sensing for agricultural data collection and production monitoring. We use Internet of Things to build a livestock monitoring system and carry out pilot scheme that use livestock as a collector. I believe that with the increasing application of fintech in the rural finance, we can better control risks and make business more sustainable. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, at the present, our society is entering a new stage marked by digital productivity. And the digital transformation of the financial industry is facing major historical opportunities. With the ongoing recovery of a global economy that had been hardly hit by pandemic, the integration of digital technologies and financial services will further accelerate. And the role of the digital finance in promoting the high-quality economic development will become even more important. To this end, we should focus on the developments and the changes of new technologies, enhance the application of the fintech, and firmly seize opportunities brought by every wave of technological innovation. We should strengthen collaboration in areas such as the development and the utilization of information, the harmonization of data standards, and the management of cybersecurity. We should 
safeguard the bottom line of risk management. We must make sure our financial activities should be proportional to risk control capabilities, and strike a balance between innovation and business growth. Ladies and gentlemen, let us take this conference as an opportunity to move forward, to forge a brighter future, recharge finance with technology, and jointly promote the recovery of the global economy. Finally, I wish the event a great success. Thank you very much for your attention.